Welcome to Adapting Class. And this is a question for series four for the endocrine review concept using test taking strategy um, in order to analyze ankles questions to make it comfortable to answer them carefully without any problem. So let's look at this one. This one is based on specific information. All you need to know is to translate this question into one single thing. That's all. It's a select or apply question. Which of the following, read it from the back, which of the following intervention the nurse should, should include in the plan of care? This is the, what the asked question is. And what is the case? A nurse is caring for a client who is post after trans through phenol, the nose, hypo, Physectomy or pituitary tumor. Which of the following the uh, intervention the nurse should include in the plan of care? Post transphenol hypophysectomy for pituitary tumor. The pituitary tumor is just on top. Um, it's just behind the nose. Um, when you go, there's a bone called cribriform plate. When you go through that bone, you are in the brain, and there is sitting right there. It's right there. Uh, and you can get access to the uh, the base of the brain through the nose in order to remove this pituitary gland. Retranslate it, rewrite them. Post transphenol hypophysectomy of pituitary tumor. Just tell yourself. Brain surgery. That's all. It's a bunch of words, but it's brain surgery. But you have to know that they went through the nose. So the nose was the access point. That's all the surgery is done through the nose to get to the base of the brain and remove the pituitary tumor. What you should include in the plan of care. That's the key strategy. Think about it. You know this already. We write a question. When somebody has brain surgery, what are you worried about? ICP. All your care should be what? Control ICP. Make sure you do whatever you do, you do not increase the individual ICP. Your plan of care is to try to decrease ICP to normal level as much as possible. And because they went through the nose, pay attention to the nose. That's all. That's what the question is asking you. Head of the bed at 30 degrees. You don't you do this all the time. When somebody have high ICP, you try to do this. Don't put them in the supai, put them in the 30 degree semi fowler in order to allow venous drainage. That's the thing. Venous drainage to decrease the individual ICP. So this is a good thing. If this is the individual. And this is the anus, okay, the eyes is here. Okay, this is the bridge, and this is the mouth. And we went through here and did the surgery be, um, through the brain um, to take care of the pituitary. The, the They're going to leak blood. Whenever you operate, people are bleeding. But what you worry about is cerebral spinal fluid can also leak in order to tell if it's just blood or cerebrospinal fluid, you pull a gauze here like that. That's the mustache. That's what we call it, mustache. Mustache dressing. And the leakage will go here. And it will collect over there. And you look at it. You're looking for something they call double sign. If this is the um if this is the gauze, okay. If you have the gauze. You're looking for this sign. You're looking for a sign where this is all red. This is red. And surrounding it, you're going to see some pink color like that. Not pink color, but something different color, serous color. Or maybe yellow color. Yeah, you see yellow behind it. This is halo sign. This yellow is the CSF and the red is blood. This we, we call it double sign, double ring sign 
or the ALO sign. When you see that, there's a CSF leak. So that's why you put in mustache dressing tape under the nose to collect that so that you can observe that. So this and this is good. Record ALO sign on the mustache. What is wrong with this? You don't record it. You notify. Notify the provider. If we see it, it's abnormal. We don't want to see yellow sign. We just want to see blood. But when we see yellow around it, we know we're leaking. We don't want to leak. So recording should not be included. You, the most important thing you should do, notify the provider, then you record. Just recording is not enough. Access for post nasal drip, yes. If they're leaking, it's like having cold. You see you have post nasal drip, the same thing. You go to the back of your throat. So this is good. Encourage clients to blow their nose every four hours. I told you, we went through the nose. If you blow your nose, you're going to disrupt the repair of the creviform plate and you have CFS leak. So, and that will also increase your ICP. You should not do this. Monitor for urine output. Yes, the patient can go into diabetes insipidus or SI, SIDH. So it's both. When somebody has brain surgery, they can have diabetes insipidus or they can have SIADH. Either way, you have to look what they're telling you. Are they having urine output too much or the urine output is decreased? And then you do some lab work and you figure out if the urine-specific gravity has changed. And that is how you can determine if they are in diabetes insipidus or a syndrome of inappropriate ADH. Those are the key. Same story. We're not blowing our nose. Therefore, we're not putting NG tube in our nose. If we insert NG tube, because we operate, we go put the NG tube into the brain right there. And that is a bad problem. NG tube in the brain, you're removing people's brain. That's not good. So don't insert NG tube. Monitor their urine output. Don't encourage them to blow their nose. Assess for post nasal, nasal drip. Don't record just the ALO sign. Tell the doctor. Monitor for mustache. I'm gonna put a uh, collect put a gauze to collect um the fluid, must a mustache dressing and out of the bed greater than at thirty degrees. You should give them nausea medication. You should give them a, a dancitron. You should also prevent them from having emesis. You should give them constipation medication, lessative, so that they cannot have to strain. You should tell them not to ban um, just like that. I mean, they have to make sure they are not increasing their ICP. All these signs is what is indicated to decrease the ICP. So all the things you tell them is very, very important. Don't ban at the waist and all those things. It's very, very, you already know. It's the same thing. The question just make tenders and add this to it, instead of telling you what you do when somebody have ICP, I just use this word, post transphenol hypophysectomy for pituitary tumor. We just went through the nose and we did surgery. We turned it into brain surgery. And all you need to do is prevent ICP increase as much as possible. There's taking strategy, endocrine concept, a series, and one more left. Stay tuned. If you need more, adapt and Clays on YouTube. Click the link below and you will see adapt and Clays on YouTube with content to help you pass your ankles. Take care of yourself and have a good day. Bye-bye.